Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to change the date format of your blogger post using the theme code. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to change the date format of this blogger post using uh, the blogger settings. But we saw that we had some uh, limitations with the date format. So if I go to settings and uh, if I go over here to the formatting and timestamp, here we can see that all the formats are not being displayed over here. One of the examples is that we don't have a format where we have the date, the month and then the year. So for that we have to go into the theme code and add our own custom code. So let's get started. So this is the dashboard of my blogger website. Let's go over here to theme and the theme that I'm using is uh, this theme right here called Contempo. It comes by default with blogger and the only change that I have made over here is this background and we have added some parallax effect. So that's the only change that I have made. Everything else is as it is. So I'll just go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. And here we are in the theme code. Now every theme has different code so you have to go ahead and uh, do this according to the theme. So first of all, you have to find out where in this code is uh, this date displayed. So in our theme, it is inside this blog one widget. So just click on this uh, button called jump to widget and then click on blog one. And here you can go ahead and look for the code that displays the title, the date and all these things over here. So let's scroll down a little bit and uh, we will find the code for displaying those elements and here we can see the code for that so we have this includable with an ID of post and in that we have this division with the class of post so this is uh, the post right here and in that we have the post meta the post title and header byline and then we have the post body the post body snippet and all of those things over here so let's add some content over here and see whether this is exactly the code that is being displayed over here. So let's add an H1 and I'll just type hello over here. And uh, let's save it. And uh, let's go back to our website and refresh our page. And here we can say hello is being displayed over here in every post. Let's go inside a post. And even there we can see hello is being displayed. Now in the same way you can go ahead and add the code for the date and you can remove this date from here. So let's go back to the theme code and uh, the code was the includable with the ID of post. So let's just search for it. So I just press Ctrl F and I'll just search for ID equals post and here we have the code. So let's remove this header line code from here. Now before making changes to the theme code it's a good idea to copy everything from here and take a backup of your code so that if something goes wrong you can revert back to the old code. So I'll just remove this line of code which displays the date in our website. So let's save it and let's refresh our page and here we can see the date is not being displayed instead we have hello displayed over here. Alright now we can go ahead and replace hello with the code for the date. So let's go back and search for id equals post to display the date you have to type less than b colon eval and uh, in that you have to have an expression so just type expr equals and uh, in here I'll just close this right here and in single quotes you have to type data colon post dot date and then you have to type format and then you can type the format over here so I'll just type it inside double quotes now the format that we want is date so I'll just type DD and then we want the month so I'll just type MMM and then we want a comma and then we want the year so I'll just type YYYY. Right now let's save it and see whether it works. Let's refresh our page and now we can see that the date is being displayed over here just as we wanted. We have the date, the month and then the year. But we have ruined the structure of our website. 
so for that you have to revert this back to the previous structure that we had for this theme code and I had previously noted down the division and the class that it had so it had a division with a class of post header so let's go ahead and do that so I'll just search for ID post and here we'll create a division with a class of post header so this is what it had at the beginning and uh, let's save it and let's refresh our page and now we can see that everything is working all right we don't have any problems and the format is also working all right now here we can see that it is in the short form we don't have the whole month being displayed over here we just have SEP for September now if you want the whole word to be written over here then uh, you have to change the code so let's go back and uh, here you have to change MMM to 4Ms and uh, let's save it and now we can see that it has September completely written over here and in this way you can have multiple date formats so if you have 2Ms instead of 4Ms then uh, it will be written in numeric so for September it will have 09 and we can also add some more information over here for example we can just type posted on before this date so for that let's go back to our code and ID equals post and here before the date code you have to just type posted on you can type whatever you want over here and I will just press save and let's refresh our page and now we can see it says posted on and then the date over here with the format that we need so that's basically how you change the date format to whatever you want using the theme code so using the settings we have some limitations for the date format but using the theme code you can change this to whatever you want so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day